my second point is the second danger, better yet, is right based. And uh, sort of, you know, when I was thinking about that, um, I was like, here we are again. Let's talk about network neutrality. But it is really a conversation about network neutrality because the core thing about network neutrality is the, is the concern of how ISPs can serve as gatekeepers to the content that we users um, are paying to, to access. And considering that ISPs are the, literally the only pathway to our homes, they have tremendous power to determine what content I can access and on what terms. And in fact, here's a little detail that I don't think a lot of people appreciate. ISPs have also the monopoly on the terminating access line directly to users because users only subscribe to one ISP at a time. So from a technical perspective, ISPs can manipulate users' internet access in a number of different ways. They can block content, they can throttle users' access, or they can even allow prolonged periods of widespread congestion and drive users crazy. So imagine now an environment where telecom operators are able to negotiate deals for infrastructure development with certain companies within the internet's value chain. This could lead to the very likely scenario where telecom operator, operators end up prioritizing traffic or allowing content from certain companies. And there is also the possibility that this prioritization of services and content can become part of such deals. All these will not only provide an unfair advantage to certain telecom operators and, and platforms, right? But it, and it, it will further expand the power telecom operators have in the access market. Um, and of course, it is, goes completely against the existing open internet regulation and will negatively affect the internet experience uh, in Europe. 